What if you never had to mow your lawn and instead you just say, Alexa, mow the lawn. Starting the lawn mower. Mamotion is a company that is bringing full on AI robots to your lawn care needs. And this thing looks like straight out of some alien technology, very practical. Now you don't have to worry about mowing your lawn because you can just ask the robot to do it. And this is what sets them apart is the integrity of the system, the AI that they put in, and just so much benefit that they put in to make this more of a practical solution rather than some fantasy technology. They just released this unit, which is the Yuka Mini Series. This is a smaller unit, more affordable unit compared to their predecessors in the past. I've been following my channel. I have been testing a few of their models recently, including the Luba 2 all-wheel drive, which is their most powerful mower if you have multiple acres to mow. And Yuka 1000, which has a sweeper kit, so it won't just cut the grass, but also collects the mulch and dumps it into a designated area. This is also a great feature for leaf sweeping in the fall. This week, Mamotion released their Yuka Mini Series at CES, and we're gonna tell you all about it in this video. It's portable, compact, and an affordable solution for homeowners with a smaller lawn. But don't be fooled by its size. This little mower is extremely powerful, offering many of the same features you would find in larger models like the Luba 2 and Yuka 1000, and in some cases, even more advanced. For example, the Yuka Mini has an added benefit of automatic lawn mapping. Unlike the traditional robotic mowers that require perimeter wires or manual setup, the Yuka Mini uses satellite navigation combined with UltraSense AI vision to map your lawn all on its own. For Luba 2 and Yuka 1000, we had to walk the robot around our lawn, but Yuka Mini does this all on its own. Think of it like a Tesla for your yard. Precise, smart, and autonomous. Now let's talk about the unboxing and setup. The Mini comes well packaged and includes everything you need to get it started. Setup is surprisingly simple even if you're not tech savvy. First of all, you will need to push the RTK antenna into the ground. This helps the mower communicate with the satellite for precise positioning. Next, place the charging base nearby and use the provided screws to secure it into the ground. Finally, connect the RTK and charging base cables to the power source and you're pretty much done. The last step is to go through the Mamotion app. The app walks you through the settings and mowing zones, custom schedule, fine tune your mower's performance, and so much more is super user friendly and doesn't take much time to set up or any skills to set it up. Now, unfortunately, after unboxing and setting it up, a snowstorm hit my area, so I wasn't able to fully test the Yuka Mini outside. The snow is still in my yard. I can still tell you all about this more based on the specs and also based on the extensive experience with Luba 2 and Yuka 1000. Mamotion has been very consistent with their smart features, precision, and reliability across their lineup, and I have no doubt that Yuka Mini follows the same path. As I said earlier, one of the standout features of Yuka Mini is its ability to automatically map your lawn. In about 10 minutes, it creates a virtual map, eliminating the need for perimeter wires or manual driving. This feature alone sets it apart from many of the robot mowers in this market, where it automatically senses everything, all the obstacles, and create a virtual map for you. With the app, you can set up to 10 custom mowing zones. This is great if your lawn has flower beds, pathways, or different sections, including front, side, and back lawn. You can also create a no-go zones right from your phone, making it super flexible for different type of layout. In my experience with Luba 2 and Yuka 1000, Mamosun's obstacle avoidance tech is really solid. The mowers can handle things like garden furniture, kids' toys, and even unexpected obstacles without getting stuck. I expect the Yuka Mini to perform similarly, especially with the Tesla-like vision system. Now let's talk about the cut quality. The Yuka Mini has a floating cutting disc with five pivoting razor blades, which helps it adapt to uneven terrain and deliver a clean, uniform cut. If you have ever seen those satisfying lawn stripes, this mower can achieve that without much of the effort and it adapts to the height of the lawn as it goes. So if one side of the lawn is cut a little bit too short and the other side is a little bit too long, it adapts and make a uniform carpet-like quality cut. The big selling point here is convenience. The Yuka Mini isn't about perfection. It's about making your life easier. While the robot is mowing your lawn, you get a free time to focus on you and your family. This is also very helpful if you are on a vacation in the summer and not have to worry about mowing the lawn. It's a huge time saver. Another cool feature is the smart home integration. You can start the mower with Alexa or Google Assistant. It's a small thing, but if you are into smart tech like most Tesla fans are, it's a fun addition to your setup.
What about terrain? Yucca Mini can handle slopes up to 45%, which is pretty impressive for such a lightweight moor. It's built to handle the kind of varied terrain you'd find in most backyards. It's also built for different weather conditions. Yucca Mini is IPX6 waterproof and has rain detection. It won't mow in the rain and it just is scheduled based on the weather forecast. This is one of those features that makes it even more autonomous and hassle-free. One of the best things about this mower, and really all my motion mowers I have tested, is how quiet they are. The Yuka Mini operates at under 60 decibels. That's quieter than your typical conversation, so you can run it while you're enjoying time outside without any noise disruption. You are not going to wake up your neighbors. You can do this anytime you want. Battery life is another highlight. Yuka Mini automatically returns to its charging station when it needs to recharge, so you don't really have to worry about it running out of battery or juice mid mow. It's just set it and forget it because it does its own thing. Doesn't matter how long it takes to mow the lawn because you're not doing it. You're not constantly having to charge or recharge. It's automatic. It just comes and charges and it goes and mows the lawn for you. Let's talk about the security. Looper suspended in air. The Yuka Mini comes equipped with GPS tracking and geofencing capabilities. If someone tries to move it outside of your designated area, you'll get an alert on your phone and the more can be tracked in real time. Plus there is a ownership authentication, which ensures that you can only operate your device. It's a reassuring feature, especially if you're worried about theft. So how does it compare to a traditional mower? Honestly, there is no comparison. It's cleaner, quieter, and way more convenient. You're trading in hours of works for a completely automated experience here. At the end of the day, it comes down to the convenience and valuing your time. The Yuka Mini is about making life easier. If you hate mowing or just want free time, it is definitely worth considering. It's a smart, efficient solution for homeowners who want to automate their lawn care. If you are someone who loves smart tech and appreciates the convenience, this mower will definitely fit the bill. So even though I couldn't fully test this out because of the snow, I can comfortably say that Momotion makes great products. It's just really great to see AI being used for practical use. So what do you all think about this robot lawn care and your thoughts about the company Momotion as well as all the technology that they're bringing? Please let me know in the comment section below. If you found today's video helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and come back again soon.